Well, 2023 was another year of extremes in Arkansas weather. We saw winter storms, we saw hail storms, and we also saw some devastating tornadoes. I ranked the top seven weather events of 2023, and number seven on my list was the severe weather and heavy rain event of January 2nd and 3rd. You may remember a tornado hit Jesseville High School on that day. It was rated EF1, and there was video of that tornado crossing the football field. It was only on the ground for a little bit, but down quite a few trees and power lines just after that heavy rain a heavy rain event unfolded in east and southeast Arkansas which resulted in numerous road closures and some really severe flooding across Arkansas County including DeWitt. Up next is number six the ice storm of January 30th and February 3rd. We found ourselves in the middle of an active stretch of winter weather and it was just an icy mess. A lot of sleet across north and central Arkansas. Icy travel was common into February 2nd and between the second uh, the first and second we saw an ice storm unfold across South Arkansas. Little Rock recorded a half an inch of ice, but totals were over half an inch in the southern part of the state across Dallas County, uh, down towards Star City, Pine Bluff, and into southwest Arkansas. This resulted in numerous trees and power lines being down, and over 80,000 people lost power during that ice storm that unfolded in the early part of February. Number five, it's another winter weather event, the big snowstorm on January 24th and 25th. You may remember central Arkansas mostly missed out on this event, but north Arkansas came up big. Mount Magazine received over 16 inches of snow and a large part of North Arkansas saw 8 to 12 inches of snow. Travel became extremely difficult with Highway 65 becoming nearly impassable for a time. That snowstorm wrapped up early on the 25th and the weight of the snow caused over 100,000 customers to lose power in North Arkansas. Number four is the widespread storms of June 17th and 18th. June was an exceptionally active month for severe weather. On the 17th and 18th, we had several areas of damaging winds with over 100,000 without power. We also had a couple of rare strong tornadoes. One EF2 tornado tracked through Logan County doing quite a bit of damage and another one tracked through Union County. We had not had two EF2 tornadoes in June on the same day since 1979. Number three, staying in June, the destructive hailstorms of June 11th through 14th. This was one of the worst hail events in state history. We had a barrage of hailstorms that really got kicked off on June 11th with storms that produced baseball sized hail at Clarendon. And then on the 12th, 13th and 14th, we saw multiple rounds of destructive hailstorms with hail falling in severe Little River, Pike, Clark, Howard, Faulkner, Lone Oak, Hot Spring, Garland, Grant, Lincoln, Cleveland and Deshea counties among others. Those counties saw hail that was larger than baseball size. We received numerous pictures and video of baseball to softball sized hail. And a lot of this happened in Garland County, which was hit especially hard. Number two is the widespread severe storms of June 25th and 26th. By the time we got to June 25th, we had dealt with so much severe weather and we had a big wind event late on the 25th and into the 26th. So we had uh, hail at first with this event, but it transitioned to wind as it entered the metro area where we saw 70 to 80 mile per hour winds. The Little Rock Airport had a 16 mile, 69 mile per hour wind gust. There was structural damage and numerous power outages. Most of Lone Oak County lost power and we had 150,000 utility customers lose power across the state. Two people died in Carlisle when a tree fell on a mobile home. June 2023 was the most active severe weather month of the year. Top event of the year, of course, is one that we all remember well and touched so many of us. It was the tornadoes of March 31st. That was probably the most significant severe weather event in central Arkansas since the tornado that hit Roland, Mayflower and Valonia in 2014. This event was a little bit different. It happened in the middle of a Friday with so many people witnessing the destruction firsthand. If you were in the area, you saw it or you saw the destruction. The tornado began in West Little Rock and strengthened into an EF3 with winds of 165 miles per hour and was on the ground for 34.4 miles tracking through North Little Rock, Jacksonville, Sherwood and ending up just south of Cabot. This tornado was the highest rated tornado in the Little Rock city limits since 1999. Only one fatality happened in North Little Rock, and it's a miracle that we didn't have more fatalities uh, with this tornado crossing busy roadways like I-430 
I-40 and 67. 54 people were injured. Now, this wasn't the only tornado of the day. Another tornado was on the ground for 73 miles in East Arkansas and devastated wind where four people died. It's interesting to note that with that tornado, students were dismissed hours before a tornado hit the high school. Over 2,700 structures were impra impacted in central Arkansas and over 60,000 lost power during that event. Of course, in 2023, we had several events that we never want to have again. Number one being uh, that tornado that hit central and east Arkansas. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to the Channel 7 weather team for your weather information.